I had so much fun the first time, I'm a glutton for punishment, and we're going to do it with the AMD side. Hang with me. Welcome to another episode, Chadrix Tech. In this episode, we're going to talk about the foundation or the groundwork for the next uh, big series of testing. Uh, I initially started this channel with wanting to understand how to build my Intel rig and what would be the best parts and performance that I could get out of the options available when I was going to do a custom water loop. I water cool everything, and it was a very direct purpose. Now, uh, I found I'm a glutton for punishment. We're going to do it again. <laughs> but But this time, I think... There's more people building AMD systems than Intel systems, and that's okay because for an enthusiast build, it's hard to say, but AMD does does uh, have the superior product right now. Now, um, we'll see what Intel can come up with, but right now it looks like the AM5 platform might actually even live on, and um, it might be a good platform to hold on to. So with that, there are a lot of options out there right now and I think that a lot of uh, people have gravitated to my AMD content over my Intel content and if that's the case if that's what you want to see uh, it's time to really bring you information that you can use now for those that might find this interesting I certainly hope you do this is even bigger there's even more combinations that I will need to test than I did with the Intel combination so um, <clears throat> this is looking at delitting even an AM5. Uh, we're going to delit it. We're going to contact frame. There's heat spreaders. There's direct die coolers. There's multiple top of the line coolers here on this table. Uh, we're really going to have some fun here. And we're going to test all these situations with different thermal paste and liquid metal and run through it. Try to be very systematic with just like I did with the Intel side, is looking at um, water temperature correction so that you actually have relatable temperatures to compare directly. So with that, let's bring you in and show you what we've got here on the table that we're going to have to uh, work with in the next, oh goodness, I don't know how long this is going to take me. Um, a long time. <laughs> Gosh, hang with me. Check this stuff out. So here's a look at most of the products that we're going to be using here in this next AM5 uh, custom cooling uh, project. So we're going to take a peek at several blocks. I've got two Optimus blocks. Um, this one is the full copper, very heavyweight, nickel finished um, version. And they told me that the aluminum top that doesn't touch the water path um, cools very similarly. Well, we're going to see what that is. They said there's virtually no difference in cooling. I've got it currently on the AM5 CPU right now. So there's two Optimus blocks. We are going to void the warranty and we are going to delid this AM5. And we're going to try our hand at the AMD version of Thermal Grizzly's Micro Direct Die Pro. This was an amazing block for the LGA 1700. I'm interested to in seeing how well it does with the AM5 platform. And there's some other blocks here that you know and love. There's a Heat Killer 4 Pro, and it didn't do as well in the initial testing with the Intel blocks, but I am hopeful that it comes and shines with the AM5, and we will see. And if I can get this mounted just for um, grins, I've got the old coolants block that's supposed to work with the uh, AMD as well as Intel platform. It actually did <laughs> relatively well with the Intel. We're going to see how well it holds up with AMD. So just from a nostalgic historic factor, we're going to see if this uh, coolants block cools the AM5 platform. Uh, the other block that people might be interested in is the EK Velocity 2. This is the AM5 platform, obviously. And then once we delid these um, 
and not use direct die options, there is the heat spreader that we're going to try to use. We'll be using the contact frame that I'm currently have on the system now. And then once we delid, we will use either um, the direct die pro and figure out if what how else we get these coolers on here. And what we're likely going to have to do is use some combination of back plates or mounting hardware or use the direct die frame to help cinch the CPU down and then try to get the block directly on there and have some combination of cinching down between the two. And it looks like we'll be using through a lot more liquid metal. I'll probably need another package. And then between everything is that all of my initial Intel testing was with Hydronaut and Duranaut is what he's really pushing right now. I would like to see what the difference is really. Um, this is a heck of a lot cheaper. I think he's claiming that this this doesn't the Duranaut doesn't dry out or the Hydronaut will and you'll have to to reapply. But there is a lot of configuration, a lot of testing, a lot of options, and it certainly looks like that was funded by Thermal Grizzly. Um, <laughs> boy, don't I wish. Roman, help a guy out, will you? Let me look at this table. Um, anyway, um, I expect a Christmas card or something to say thank you. But no, they, they make some amazing products. Um, and the Intel version of the Micro Pro Direct die is what's on my main office right now. It, it is amazing. I can't imagine having anything else on it. It does an excellent job. I can't wait to see how well the rest of these configurations line up, where they jockey themselves around. Um, and you saw uh, one of my shorts where I swapped out the brackets. So this is the same block I tested before. This is the same block I tested before. This is the same block I tested before. Two Optimus blocks, EK block, direct die block, heat spreader to make sure it all fits together somehow with plenty of hardware to make it all happen. And I'm sure I'll have a bucket of thermal paste and liquid metal in terms of expense. Okay, so, um, there you have it. This is the start of a next big chapter in this uh, company. We're, we're going to really look at the AM5 platform. And I think it's... Um, it's definitely going to be a labor of love, and I certainly hope you find some value in this. Uh, this is going to be a lot of fun, and I will be releasing this. I think I'm going to have to do it in chunks. I can't do it and do all of this. I am one man doing all of this. Uh, so it's going to. I, I will release pieces of this, and then I will put wrap it all up together, just like I did with my Intel um, analysis. So with that. Stay safe. God bless.